Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here at Maserati Alfa Romeo St. Pete, and guess what? We have that Italian four-door seductive sedan. This is it. This is a 2022 Maserati Ghibli. This particular one is a new trim known as the Modena. But before we dive into this four-door performance sedan, let's talk about what's going on here. Maserati. It's that Italian brand that's been around for so many decades, started by two brothers that grew up in Milan, Italy, and guess what? Utilized Grand Prix racing to really bring a name to their brand and also one heck of a history. Now, Maserati has had some bumpy times throughout the decades, but you know what? Here in the 21st century, they're definitely bringing Italian style, sport, and some performance, and it's becoming more attainable than maybe some of those other Italian brands that you're very familiar with. But what I want to find out is, with this new 2022 Ghibli Modena, is this really the sweet spot in their lineup, and is it worth the price going this route for your four-door luxury sports sedan, everyday drivability and usability? Let's dive into our 2022 Maserati Ghibli and find out. Right off the bat, the color. This metallic gray finish, really it looks classy, but also sporty at the same time. Super low slung hood. And as we drop down, you're gonna get a very stylish headlight design. I love the way they paid attention to all the details, put the Maserati name there, blacked everything out on the interior. LED headlights, LED turn signals, and LED daytime running lamps. Looking clean, working your way down. We got some fine, treatment to this wire mesh. This is gonna bring cool air, fully functional to the heat exchangers, a little bit of gloss black, and then like I said, everything else super, super clean. Now, as we come across the front, that low slung hood from the front of the uh, vehicle, it actually looks like a two-door sports car, the way that they designed this, and that's one of my favorite things about it, but you know what? What you're gonna see is that legendary symbol of the brand, that is Neptune's Trident. It goes all the way back to Milan, Italy, in the town where the brothers lived, was a water fountain, and it had a massive statue of Neptune with his trident, and that's why the brand Maserati is associated with that symbol. I love the way they went gloss black with those vertical slots, fully open, fully functional, and you have a forward-facing camera. Work your way down, more of that fine wire mesh, just like on the corner, vents and then look at what we got some nice carbon fiber for the splitter this is going to help scoop air in and stop air from going underneath the front end of this ghibli the badge looking great that's another reference to this company are the colors blue and white looking classy and then as we get up on that low slung hood you can see the bulge slight bulge that raises up everything else is going to flow right towards the a pillars and i li really like how they paid attention to the peaks of the fenders. You'll see that extra style, and plus from behind the wheel, it gives you two great reference points as you're looking out the windshield. Now, as we come around the bend on this particular trim, Ghibli, what are we working with wheel and tire step? You're gonna get these 20 inch wheels, beautiful multi-spoke design, metallic gray finish, and then lurking behind those wheels are massive six piston marinara sauce red calipers with the maserati script we have two-piece rotors fully ventilated and cross drilled and of course you're going to have adaptive dampers all four corners up front you're looking at 245 on the width and a 40 series sidewall but i really love the dark metallic gray wheel with the red caliper and especially our paint job now as we continue going down the side they put some really tasteful gloss black mode in the badges to designate what this trim is and we have the familiar triple portal on the fenders these are functional with a little bit of metal mesh and some chrome accent trim makes it pop and shows that connection to the maseratis of the past i hope you like carbon fiber because i got buckets of it we got carbon fiber on the mirror caps carbon fibers on the door handles and it's all the same style carbon fiber even when you look around where the wind the side glass is you're getting tons of carbon fiber we do have a standard size sunroof i wish it was a panoramic i think that's going to be a zonk is should be a panoramic sunroof especially at this price point but you'll notice how they work that side sill give it that nice sporty flow 
as we come towards the rear. And the great news is at the rear, we actually have a little bit wider wheel and tires. So you're looking at 285 on the width of these 20 inch tires, tires and wheels with four piston calipers out back, really gonna give us that nice braking capability. One of my favorite styling points is right here. Look at the way the body line comes off the door. Nice flared fender. We have another Neptune's Trident and even more carbon fiber on the back side there with the gloss black surround. Coming to the rear to top it off like the cherry on top of that massive Italian cannoli is going to be the beautiful carbon fiber trunklet spoiler. We got full LED lighting and look at the classy touch with this black chrome finish, the Ghibli badge, Maserati badge with that black chrome and then dropping it like it's hot, you're going to get your quad exhaust, not dual exhaust, quad exhaust tip. Two on each side with this simple but tasteful diffuser area on the lower bumper. But while we go ahead, looking at this Maserati is awesome. Let's go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering it. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hydraulic hood struts on both sides. Underneath the hood on this particular trim is going to be a V6, a twin turbo V6. Very, very tasteful engine cover. Love the Trident. They brought it from the outside, put it on the engine cover. But what are we talking about that's underneath that cover there showcasing V6 power? You're looking at a three liter twin turbo V6. On the mode in the trim, it's 424 horsepower, 428 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to a ZF eight-speed automatic transmission, zero to 60 in about 4.4 seconds. Quarter mile is gonna blaze by at 13.1 seconds top speed 178 miles an hour mpg 16 in the city 24 on the highway and you know what the vehicle weighs around 4715 pounds looking underneath seeing that beautiful engine the great news is if you want more power you could actually get a ghibli with more power but you know what let's fire up what we have with this with our maserati ghibli and hear what it sounds like All right, guys, we're inside this 2022 Maserati Ghibli motor in the trim. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I tell you, this thing has definitely got some style to it, more so than the German Euro sedans. How much is it, though, since we're talking about price in this review? Very good question. That's my reply to you, and here is the ultimate answer. MSRP, for the way that this one is optioned, is right around $98,000. Let's see what you got for the money to the door panels. Absolutely love the pure sexiness dripping all over that leather. Up top, the nice stitching. Carbon fiber, not only on the outside, but also the interior. The way that they ran the silver from the door handle right into the trim shows that thoughtful style design. You do have the diagonal stitch pattern, even leather on the door handle and a splash of red to really make the door panel come alive to life. The door pocket, though, is on the tight side, so maybe just two meatballs, not three or four. And nowhere to put a drink in the door panel, just something to think about. Going from the door panel to the dash, the two-tone interior just works in here. The dark cherry red with the black, soft touch everywhere. Of course, if we're talking luxury, you're going to have that analog Maserati clock up top, even when it's stitched little hood there, so much history, all wrapped up in one timepiece. Navigation and infotainment is gonna look familiar, like it came right from a Dodge Durango, because it did. It's the new Uconnect 5, over 10 inches of infotainment display. You have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, navigation, of course, full touchscreen. I do like the way it's cleanly integrated into 
the actual dash itself. Ventilated seats, heated seats, you go into your seat, your AC control, very simple to do. That's what your average Maserati driver looks like. That's why they use those images there. We could also go into our vehicle setup. As you're sitting here, you could pull up that surround camera and get a good look actually very clear resolution you do have trajectory you do have 360 and you can go through all the different camera angles out the front out the back out the side all around and then guess what to get back to home easy peasy lemon squeezy another thing i want to show you is driver profiles so this is where you can set up your different drivers that are going to use this vehicle you each could select an avatar which is going to be unique to your particular driver and then they got little categories. You can see our selections here. Of course, I'm going with the on-throttle race car driver. But if you're into animals, you could be the Sasquatch and drive your Maserati. You could be the little puppy. You could be the seal, the octopus that looks really weird, or this lion maybe, or maybe the cute panda, or this tiger that looks like it's ready for blood, or maybe Krusty the Crab. So nice little ideas when it comes to just personalizing the driving experience. Working your way down, we have dual climate control, easy to figure out. Open up the door, what do we got? USB-C, USB-A, and wireless charging. Nicely, cleanly integrated. Close the door, more carbon fiber, two cup holders. This is gonna control your ZF eight-speed automatic transmission. You got the Ma Maserati badge, the stitch work, all the buttons to stiffen up your suspension because we have adaptive dampers, the different drive modes, radio controls and direct control knob for tuning, carbon fiber, and then look at this. Here is your massive Maserati key fob. Right now we have the condom key fob on, cover on, so we don't uh, scratch up our Maserati key fob, but this is the protective condom that you could use if you want to, it's up to you. And then we have more carbon fiber, open this guy up, Nice felt lining. You could put, uh, you know, maybe some nice gold jewelry uh, in there so it doesn't get all scratched up. And then you got leather on the armrest. Watch this, bombs away. Plenty of felt lining. You got a 12 volt in here and these two strange small cup holders, which is kind of unique, but definitely can put, I would say, eight cannolis in there. Just make sure they're wrapped. You don't want to get cannoli cream all over this beautiful interior. Seats though, love the embroidery with the tridents. Little bit of silver, the nice soft red material, full electric assist for the passenger and the driver, of course. And then to top it off, we got Alcantara headliner, even on the A pillars. And then you got your standard size sunroof. It would have been wonderful to have a panoramic sunroof, but why don't you come over to the business end? I want to show you behind the wheel of this Maserati. All right, guys, business time. Rocky would be all about this Italian stallion, but to welcome you into the driver's side, you do get these very tasteful Maserati aluminum sill plates with that iconic script. And then look at the pedal box, made for a race car. Massive aluminum dead pedal with the Trident, brake pedal with the Trident, and throttle pedal, all aluminum. Plus, I love the way it's got the aluminum kick plate here. So as you're going on and off throttle, you're not gonna rip up the beautiful carpet. Smart, Italian, sexy design. You got your seat controls with that lower lumbar, easy to get to. I'm six feet tall. I got plenty of room in this four-door sedan. Steering wheel, I like the leather. I don't know, I just wish it was a little bit thicker, a little bit more sport focused or performance car focus, but you get a tasteful horn button with that iconic badge staring at you in the face. It is electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. One of my favorite things though, are these massive paddles to go up and down the eight speed automatic transmission and then the dash. It's a mixed bag. Let me know how you feel if you want a full digital display, but you have a nice large digital display in the center flanked by two analog gauges, tack and speedometer. I think it's classy. I am all about the analog classic approach, but why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat and see how your passengers are gonna like the manja in the back seat of this Maserati. All right guys, back seat time in this four door sport luxury sedan. What's nice is, is that there's actually a pretty good amount of space in here. Even for taller passengers like, I'm, like myself, I'm not actually touching the headliner, which is great. Now I did have to move the seats up a little bit 
to make it a little extra comfortable. But the good news is you get red all the way around. These cargo nets, I'm getting it now. It's about keeping things clean underneath the cargo net, but you could easily put, I would think, two personal pan pizzas from Pizza Hut. Just slide them right in there. And then you do have rear AC. My big zonk is there's no connectivity anywhere. And if anybody knows where the connectivity is for backseat passenger in a Maserati Ghibli, let me know, put it in the comment section. But this is, this is not a door that opens up and there's nothing around the AC vents. I got my own cargo net for my own personal pan pizzas. And I got plenty of Alcantara around me, which is nice. And some carbon fiber, pull this down. Nice armrest, two cup holders, open it up. What do we got? We got enough room for, I would say, a bowl of spaghetti and at least one meatball in there, as long as it's not too big. Close it up, but you know what? Let's go ahead, let's check out the trunk and see what we could fit in this Maserati Ghibli. All right guys, not only going with the Ghibli are you obviously getting four door sedan versatility, but you're also getting obviously a larger trunk space than you would if this was a two door performance car, but push the button, lift it up. There is the amount of space that you have when it comes to the cargo area. Now, if you want an actual hard number, you're looking at 18 cubic feet of space. The good news is you do have the auxiliary Twinkie net over there for those Marinara filled Twinkies, 12 volt capability. And what's really nice is that we do have a spare tire that is in addition to what you're getting with this Ghibli, but you know what? If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go ahead and taste that pizza sauce with this Ghibli and go on throttle. Let's go do it. All right, guys, we're leaving Maserati Alfa Romeo St. Pete. We're in this 2022 Ghibli Modena trim. And what's great about the setup in this car is that you got two modes. So you have your two driver modes, normal and sport, which I put in the sport. And then you could do the same for suspension, which it shows you a little shock absorber, a uh, shock absorber with an S next to it to let you know that you're in sport. So it's, it's very simple to go through the controls, easy to get to that new large infotainment center. And visibility is actually really great. Seats are comfy. Let's see how on throttle is. On throttle, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Nice sound. Quick shifts from that eight speed automatic. You are waiting a little bit for the boost to kick in, but uh, once she's on full tilt, it really pulls nicely through the higher rev range. Steering wheel has a nice feel to it, which is great. And that's something that you're gonna find different in a Maserati compared to some of the other luxury brands is having that wonderful feedback to the wheel. Now, what I wanna do is, now I wanna shift using the paddles. You do have that gauge indicator in the front to let you know what gear that you're in and uh, that you're using the paddles. So you just pull back, go into second gear, third gear, nice smooth shifts, downshift nicely. On throttle, here we go. On the brakes, brakes feel phenomenal. Look at this, good feedback. So when you're using the paddles, it definitely kind of heightens the whole driving experience. And I just love the fact that they're bolted to the actual steering column and not the steering wheel. That's something that you find in especially Italian brands. And what's great about it is that no, no matter where you are on the steering wheel with your hands, the paddles are always gonna be in the same spot. So that makes it really simple to understand and not be thinking about that because the less you have to think about while you're driving, especially at speed, the more confidence that you're gonna feel in this vehicle. Now to put it in full manual shift mode, you just take the shifter, pull it over to the left, and now I'm just gonna use the paddles. And like I said, I do have it in sport mode. On throttle, here we go. Holds a line really nicely. Now, just so you know, in sport mode on the suspension, it is a little bit on the harsh side. But the great news is, if you're not on your favorite twisty road and you don't need it, then you could just go ahead and put it on normal and it'll be a little softer. So that's nice about that. But I do like the sound. 
that you're experiencing on the interior definitely gives it that nice Italian flair. And the two-tone really works well, like I said, with that metallic gunmetal metallic gray finish that we have. But uh, on throttle, here we go. Let it pull all the way through the rev range. Nice fast shifts. Super duper smooth. I love how quick the shifts are and how smooth they are. Remember, this is just a conventional torque converter, eight speed automatic, but it is made by ZF and they make some spectacular transmissions. Brakes are phenomenal with those six piston calipers up front. Nice large rotors, cross drilled and ventilated. As you can see, we could stop on a Euro and give everybody change. That's how good it, it, it breaks in this thing. But I really like the layout of all the controls and definitely the carbon fiber and the stitching and everything brings up the level of feel, fit, and finish. Yeah, some of the switch gear is from some other Stellantis products, but you don't really, I'm not noticing it really that much. What I am noticing is the on throttle. Let's go ahead. On throttle, here we go. On the brakes, downshift. Smooth, nice turn in. Here we go. Really, really love it kind of blips the throttle when you downshift and that just gives you that wonderful driving experience. That's one of the things with this vehicle that you have to remember. It's about the overall experience and having such an iconic Italian brand to be able to drive on, a, on an everyday basis because of that four-door usability. Like I said, you go with one of those other Italian brands, you're gonna have to double, triple, maybe even quadruple the price depending on the vehicle that you're looking at. And then putting it back into automatic mode, shifts are nice and smooth, no drama. And it's quiet in here. That's another thing. If you notice, the sound deadening material, the thickness of the glass, everything is super duper quiet in here, which allows you to have that extra high luxury feeling. But the weight on the steering is great. I don't mind the Uconnect 5. I know that is straight out of a Dodge product, like a Dodge Durango, but it's nicely integrated and it's a great system because it's got wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, easy to get through all the controls, which is wonderful. And I love the analog gauges. Gives it that nice classic feel, especially by adding the Trident in there, really gives it a nice overall just experience that you're not gonna get with many other brands. But let's keep it in automatic mode. On throttle, here we go. Yeah. Really, really feels good. How when it gets above 3000 RPM, that's when it really builds that boost and that torque delivery comes into play. But I'm hoping this gave you a nice overall experience about what this Maserati is all about. We're gonna get back to Maserati, Alfa Romeo, St. Pete, and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been one heck of an Italian fun field day here at Maserati, Alfa Romeo, St. Pete. I definitely wanna thank Skylar, Chris, and the whole team for getting us access to this 2022 Ghibli. What do you think? Has Maserati done enough for this new model year? What do you think about the style? Is what you're getting equal to what that price is at the end of the day on the MSRP? Let me know what you think in the comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rights family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you in the channel, click that link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to the best in the biz. Hashtag best in the biz. Lori Rady working that camera like a champ. Show us some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.